Hello, it's Chris here from L3D, and today we have a brand new laser engraver to review. This is the M Smart Dual SE. It's a two in one Galve laser, 20 watt diode, 20 watt fiber, and I'm going to be taking you through exactly what it can do, what it can't do, exactly what I like about it, what I might not like about it. We're going to be doing the full suite of testing. So if you're interested in this laser and you'd like to know more, stick around and I'll take you through absolutely everything. This machine was sent to me by MSmart, but they've had absolutely no influence on the video and everything I'm saying today will be my true, honest opinion. So without further ado, let's get straight to it and let me show you what this laser can do. So we're gonna run through the spec of it. At the moment, the MSmart Dual SE is on sale for £2,199. You can get it with four in one rotary with a smoke purifier and also a combo together as well. So you can see everything that is included in the box here, as you will see also if you watch my unboxing video. And then we'll scroll down and I wanna show you guys the specifications very quick. So we're gonna be looking at the M Smart Dual SE. So it's a 20 watt fiber and a 20 watt diode. The frequency range is 27 to 62 kilohertz. It can go up to 15,000 millimeters per second in speed and the field is 150 by 150 millimeters. It also has a maximum height of 150 millimeters, a working distance of 255 and a very accurate 0.01 motion accuracy. Now in terms of machine dimensions, it is 16.4 kilograms and dimension wise, it is 293 by 399 by 400 85 millimeters it has an 8 megapixel built-in camera that's all i'll show you on this front i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the actual machine is advertised as let's move on and i'll show you some actual details on the machine itself so here we have the laser as you can see in its full glory i'm going to take you for a run through of what it comes with how it looks so you're greeted by this sturdy handle and this is for the door which you can lift up and down which is great for your laser engraving so within the laser itself you have this base plate here which can pop out so you can pop that out which allows you to engrave straight through onto the surface or you can also put your own jigs in there which is great there is an extraction vent there which has a fan inside of it and pulls the fumes out and then as you can see there is your laser at the top right there and that is the inside of it nice and simple so moving around to the side of this laser you are greeted by on off button there you have your up arrow and your down arrow which helps the head to focus and defocus you also have an emergency off button which is really good push it twist it which is absolutely crucial in these situations moving on to the back of this we have our ventilation out the back so there are a number of ports as you can see this is for a controller which i don't have there's also a foot pedal there. I also don't have that one. So the camera USB-C cable plugs in there. You have a separate USB to connect to actual light burn and then you've got your power connector there. And as you can see, it's such a sleek, simple design. Quite impressed by that. So here, let me show you something here that I've never seen on one of these lasers before. So this is a manual knob to raise the laser head up and down. You can pull it out to disengage it. You push it in and then when you twist it, the actual laser head itself moves up and down. So that's for some fine tuning. So there you have it, there is our laser. Now this laser is a class one laser. Once the lid is fully down, there is no light escaping out of it. It also has an emergency stop on the side of it, which allows you to immediately shut off the machine. What I will say is when you are engraving with the lid up, it becomes a class four laser, which means you need to wear safety glasses. But overall, this is a safe laser that you can use internally. So one of the great things about this laser is it can be used in light burn. So to connect it to light burn, initially you wanna plug it in via the USB, click on devices, and then click on find my laser. I have already done this, but I will show you. Once you click that, it will bring up a screen like this. You want JCZ fiber, click next, click next again, millimeters per second for a CO2 slash Galvo, and then our X axis and Y axis are 150 and 150. Click next again, and there you go finish that button and it is set up and you are good to go. As I mentioned at the start of the video, there is a camera included with this and you can use that within Lightburn. So you can update the overlow and project it onto there like that. Initially when I got mine, it wasn't calibrated. So I did need to print that pattern you can see there. 
and run through the process, going through the first one and setting it to standard lens and then just following the instructions. And that set it up and allowed me to use it going forward. Now that the material tests are finished, let me show you some of these results. We'll start off with the aluminium bottle openers. It's made a really nice, clear contrast in white mark on those, very impressive. The leather patch also very, very nice, deep engraving. The wood pencil and spatula look excellent as well. Nice, deep engravings on those. This one, I wanted to get a bit darker. It didn't, but it's probably down to the wood, to be honest with you. The slate coaster, really contrasting. I don't know if you can tell there, but I was, I was really impressed with that one. This is definitely my favorite favorite engraving of the lot. Look at the detail it shows. Really quick as well considering. What a great, great result that was. Then you've got the metal wallet here and that is a really nice contrasting white one. The Walter White business card. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And then another one of my favorites and hopefully I can actually show you it. This here. Really cool. Really, really sharp. Love that one. And then we did cut out some wood and it cut it out well. And to be honest with you, I didn't do a lot of cutting, but when I did do it, it worked. I also cut leather, I did char it. I think the cutting is something I definitely need to look into more, but overall that is an amazing set of results. And I think it's really performed well throughout. So now I've had the chance to fully test this machine, I want to let you guys know what my pros are and my cons are. So let's move on to the pros. So my first pro for this machine is to do with its two-in-one capability. I really love Galvo lasers and the ones that have a two-in-one capability are absolutely perfect. It's great for anyone who's getting into lasers because you don't have to have two separate machines on your desk. You can switch seamlessly between those diode and those fiber capabilities. So if you want to go from doing wood to metal to plastic in the same session, it's really 
really, really easy to do. I found that the 20 watt was more than enough to handle everything. I managed to get nice contrasting colors on metals. I managed to do 3D printed material and get a nice white contrast on that. I also managed to really burn the wood to a nice crisp engraving with a score line around the outside and everything that I tested came out really, really well. The next pro is regarding the design. I absolutely love the look of this laser. I always say how much I love orange and this is about as orange as you could get, but I feel like it's a really sleek design. The lid itself is really, really strong. It doesn't feel flimsy when you lift it up and down. The handle is really well placed on it. It has a strong spring on it. So when you are putting it up and down, it doesn't feel like it's just gonna get stuck. It feels like it's gonna be up or down. And most of the time, that's exactly what you want. I also love how the arrows on the side are so smooth. The buttons are really, really well engineered in there. The whole process of leveling it is really, really easy to do because those arrows are really responsive and you can adjust it in minute amounts so you can really achieve that level of accuracy that you need when you're focusing the laser. And moving on from the design, another pro that I absolutely love is the removable base plate. I absolutely love that they've incorporated that because it allows you to be so versatile. You can design jig, you can put them in there, and you can make your engraving process so much more streamlined, so much more repeatable and more practical. And that is what we all need in laser engraving because ultimately we wanna get things done accurately and quickly. So having a removable base plate allows you to put a jig in there and do that. And that is a great, great feature. Another pro for this laser is how well it works with Lightburn. I love it when a laser just comes to me, I can plug it into Lightburn and it works. And that is pretty much the case with this one. It had all functionality right out the box, just plugging it in, doing a few tweaks the software and I was up and running. And those of you that use Lightburn know how useful, know how effective and know how good it is. So the fact that this does work with it is a massive positive in my opinion. So we've had a chance to run through the pros. There are a couple of cons that I would like to make you aware of. So let's move on to those. So the first con for me, and you might even be able to hear it as I'm talking to you now, is the fan, which is great that it's got a built-in fan to pull the fumes out, but the fan is always on. As soon as you power up the machine, the fan kicks in and it's loud enough that you can always hear it. And it's, if you've got 3D printers or those kind of things, it's that kind of level. It's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker. You don't need air protection, but I wish they would do it so that the fans kick in when you're engraving and, and turn off when you're not. Because for me personally, I just like to have a little bit of silence when I'm working. And if I'm setting up a design with the laser on, I don't always wanna hear the fan as I'm working. So if there was a way to turn that off, that would be a great thing to introduce to really raise this up to the next level. So the other thing I wasn't really a massive fan on, there is a knob on the side of the machine and that knob allows you to manually adjust things up and down. I didn't really see the point of it when you've got the arrows on the side. Maybe it's for the really minor adjustments, but I felt that it just added something that didn't need to be there at the end of the day. And it does protrude out of the machine a little bit you know I just didn't quite get that but at the same time it is there for a reason it does allow you to adjust the machine it's just for me personally it fell out of place so we've had the pros and the cons. Now let me tell you who I think this machine is best suited for. So I think this machine is perfect for makers, people that have their own businesses at home. It's a laser that allows you to do the full suite of materials. So you can do wood, plastic, you can do glass, you can do coining, bossing, you can do cutting. You can do such a full range of it. And because it's enclosed and because it's fairly compact for what it is, you can keep it in a small space if you have got limited space or you can have it on show if you've got bigger space, but it's ideal. You could have a number of them lined up if you really wanted to churn things out industrially. So I think it really would be well suited for makers. It would be good for people who like doing crafts at home. And it is just a versatile overall machine who suits most people, to be honest with you. Now onto the main question, would I recommend this machine? So yes, I would recommend it. The reason I would is because I would personally use this myself. This is a laser that suits me and my environment. I have an office space, which is fairly concise and having a small but effective versatile machine like this is absolutely crucial for me to do all of my laser engraving, to be able to keep on top of things and to actually keep my personal side business running. So this is perfect for that. I also like how safe it is. I like how easy it is to to use and I really like how powerful it is for the footprint. So yes, I would recommend it and I would personally use this in my daily workflow. So thank you so much for watching today. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like more information, comment below and also like the video. And I will say this, if you are interested in getting this great machine, there is a discount exclusively for my viewers down below. So check that out and feel free to use that to your heart's content. Thank you for watching once again and have a great day. Okay.